Good evening, everyone. How are y'all? Yes, it's loud. I'll, phone, I'll move my microphone away. Well, I would like to say welcome to the April membership meeting for the Delta Amateur Radio Club. How is everyone tonight? Good. Fantastic. Well, first thing I want to do is just a couple of quick reminders, and then I'll call the meeting to order. Um, if you forgot, don't forget to fill out a ticket for the uh, December prize drawing. One ticket, call someone on the back, toss it in the plastic bucket. That way I don't have to hold it. And if you fill out, after you fill out that, I would ask also, or do I even need it? You got the little QR code on your table. This is the signal report for the meeting. I would greatly appreciate the favor of your reply. Just scan it, fill out a couple of quick questions. It lets us know as the, as the leadership team whether you like tonight's program or you didn't like tonight's program or what we should improve. It's five easy questions. If you fill it out, we sure would appreciate it. All right. Real quick, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Mr. <coughs> Perry, if you just call the roll real quick, I'd appreciate it. Yes, sir. President Joe Plum. Here. Secretary Perry Hayes here. Treasurer Jim <coughs> He is detained due to work. He said he's on his way. Right. Director of Programs, John Reiners. Here. Director of Special Events, Scott Adams. Here. Director of Publications, Mike Harrison. I know he's working the door. Immediate past president, Ty McMahon. All right. Um, Repeat our trustee, Dan Fleek. Here. All right. We have vice president and PIO, which are vacant. I believe that covers everybody. All right. Thank you very much, Perry. Appreciate that greatly. Uh, I'd like to take a minute and do a quick welcome activity. Uh, could I have a show of hands of anyone in the room that has had their amateur radio license for less than in three months. All right, now I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to ask you now to stand up and give us your name. Um, just real quick so we can get to know you. Uh, Tyler Henley from Lakeland, KQ4 QED. Thank you. I'm Sam. I uh, just now passed my tech, so I don't even have to I'm Larry Pugh from Rossville, but it's fast my text. Do new hands pass their testament. That's amazing. Who else? I saw somebody over this way. Yes, sir. Bob Strong, KQ4, Papa Tango Whiskey. Uh, I passed my text in general a month ago. I passed my extra last night. <laughs> extra. <laughs> Congratulations on that. Welcome to the extra community. Anyone else over this way? Yes, sir. Tim King, yeah. Took the uh, last online class with Joe, uh, KQ4. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> now, now that we've got the new hands in the room to raise their hands, who's had their amateur radio license for longer than 10 years? All right. Now, the job, the test. Is everybody that's got their new license go find these old licensees and introduce hey, yourself? Hey, he's with old, Mark. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, hey, I am old. I am old. I'm not. The point here is introduce yourself to the new guys, introduce yourself to the people who have been around for a while, and get to know each other. That's what I'd love for everybody to do. All right. A real quick couple of business. Uh oh, we're getting it. We're getting into the age war. We're going to have to have the birthday boy get in this debate. <laughs> okay, we won't go there. All right, real couple of quick points of business, real quick for the membership meeting. Um, we have a quorum of membership here, so we got a couple of things that we need to do. We need to read and approve the minutes. Make a motion. We accept the minutes and the treasurer's report as published in Spark. Second. <laughs> Aye. There were multiple seconds on that. Hand made the motion to. Um, Approve the minutes and sec the treasurer's report as published in Spark. Who wants to take the second? All right, Ned took the second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right. Nobody opposed reading the minutes. Fantastic. 
All right, we'll do a real quick segment. Any board member that wants to bring a report up or uh, make any announcements real quick? All right, just a second. Well, yes, you, you got the next one. I'm gonna introduce you. All right, with that being said, Dan, uh, our repeater trustee, AA Board Dia, wants to come up for a minute and present a couple of slides on some work that we need to do at our 443-700 repeater. We had a, a piece of equipment fail, and we've got some stuff that we need to do at that site, and we need to ask the membership about it because it exceeds the budget that the board has approved. So Dan's gonna present that. Dan, I yield the floor. All right. Next. Hi, I'm Dan Fleet, A4DF. I always talk to you, some of y'all on the radio. It's been a hand for a long time. Uh, I had the opportunity to become a repeater trustee, and uh, I wasn't smart enough, so I took it. <laughs> um, just a couple of pictures. Uh, I know there was some work done last month for the repeaters. On uh, the left is the A2, on the right is the 440. As you can see, the A2, that's the back of it. I was not exactly planning on taking a picture for this, but that's what I had on my phone. On the tops, the um, ICOM and the cans on the bottom. On the right, we have a fusion repeater, and below that, that plate there is an ancient GE duplexer, but it works. And that's some stuff from the old Motorola Micro, I think that was there. Um, next. Uh, the 8-2 machine's working pretty good. Actually, it's working darn good. Uh, these are my estimates based on loss and what the intent is up there. I uh, figure out it's putting over 100 watts ERP. So you can get into it with a handy scratchy on 240 probably. Uh, it works well. Um, during the work session they did last month at the site, the only thing that they did RF wise is they drug the cabinet over from one side of the room to the other to shorten the coax and they changed out the coax jumper to the heliax with the uh, Allen 400 type connect uh, cable. That's all they, that's pretty much what they did. Uh, next slide. Let me say something about the 482 machine real quick. I hid yeah. it from Jones of Earl while I was watching the Eclipse. Cool. From my mobile, about oh, what mobile I got there, 35 or 50 watts. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Harry from Gilt Edge, I'd like to meet him one day. I think he's been checking into the net since I moved here in the 90s. And when the repeater came back alive, he, clean he, he came in, so it's good. Um, the 3.7 is, like I say, the fusion machine. It's got a smaller hard line and it's at 440 instead of VHF. So we lose probably 80% of the power that it puts out at, up to the antenna. And I'm assuming, I haven't had a chance to talk to Barry yet, that it's at least a 6 dB antenna on UHF. I think so. I don't think you would ever put up a an Omni uh, with no gain on something like this. I've, generally, you get those at 6 dB. What size hard line would uh, yeah. fix that? What size hard line would fix that? It's, um, it, it's, it's a 7 eight. Eight. Oh, going to uh, a 1 and 5 eighths hard line would drop a lot of it. But I've looked at the prices of hard line and what it would cost to climb the tower. And, <laughs> Uh, I don't know what Barry would say, but I, I guess at least ten thousand dollars to do the whole thing. So it's so what I'm proposing is a little bit cheaper. Yep. Is um, going with a hundred watt amp, and uh, that would get us about seventy two watts our ERP. I think they've they've had an amp on it before, but it's like a Mirage mobile amp and the duty was, cycle. Was, was, was. Was. <laughs> the other word is was. It, it's it's now a Mirage D amp. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it the mobile ones they only got like a thirty three percent duty cycle on those, so 
you run them very long and they go poof. So we're looking at spending some money. Next slide. Yeah. Got a uh, deal on a Crescent Damp. We can get it a lot cheaper than the Mechanic Bridge Comb uh, through a <coughs> local radio shop here who will give it to us at his dealer price. And uh, he's a friend of mine and he's been real awesome to answer questions that I have and he's willing to help us out any way he can. And he's looking for technicians. Yes, uh, you can uh, you can wire stuff into a car. He's always looking. Um, Astron rack mount power supply. Uh, we're gonna get a couple of lightning arresters for the. Uh, the 82 and the 4437. What are you looking at? I've got some polyphasers on behalf of the building. Uh, that would be awesome. They're in connectors. One's in, one's DL. One's in, yeah, one's in, one's in, one's in, one's PL. Probably put a adapter on. Yeah, or make our patch cables work. Yes. So we'll need, uh, we'll screw it on. We can, order, we can order correct ones so we don't have an adapter. One's donated, one's not. He's yeah. said one. Okay. And we may need it in another site. So uh, I got. I think I got three or four. <laughs> okay. We've yeah. got one in the equipment. Okay. In Alpha Delta. Right. Okay. Well, so a little bit less than twenty-four or twenty-two. Uh, that's outside of our budget. It is. So we'll, let me let me start. You got anything else? Yeah. So that's all right. Any questions for Dan? Um, we did reach out to DX Engineering and they've offered to work with us on the patch cables, so hopefully the patch cables will come in less. Um, they, do, uh, they don't commit to what they will do for club uh, discounting, but they do say that they will work with us and work on the, the quote. So with that being said, this is above the budget amount that the board of directors put into the budget. Uh, so that to, since that is above the, the amount, we will have to ask the membership to approve this expenditure so we can bring the 443-700 machine back up to its uh, effectiveness. So with that, I would entertain an option to, from the membership to approve this expense. Well, so we, what do we have in the budget? We had $2,000 in the budget, so this is going over by $2,400. Yeah. And what... Let me, quite, let me clarify for just a second. What I would propose that we do is we leave that budget and amount there because we have four more repeaters that we need to survey. Yeah, we may have to buy an antenna or something. So what I would propose to the membership as well is we leave the 2000 in the budget as a budgeted amount. Because we're exceeding that budget, we go to the membership and say, this is a special purchase, we ask you to approve it, and we leave the budgeted amount sitting there for the for remainder of the repeaters that we're yet to survey. That's how I would ask the membership to consider this, if, or uh, if that would be appropriate and the membership feels that that's a good, deep, appropriate action. Absolutely. Um, and I did ask most of the board, I, there was one or two that I did miss before the meeting, their approval of this as well. So with that being said, the, uh, is there a motion to approve the expenditure of 24 to 22 to, for an amplifier, power supply, Lightning arresters and patch cables for the 443700 repeater um, as a special purchase. I have a motion as we're outlined in your, in your, in your cost. Okay, uh, pause. I pause. I'm going to get your call. N0KYN. N0KYN makes a motion to uh, approve the purchase of a Sin amplifier, Astron power supply. Um, Two lightning arresters and patch cables, not to exceed 2422. Uh, is there a second? Second. And Hillard has seconded that. All right. Proper motion and second. I would ask the membership to, if you are in favor, please say aye. Aye. Are there any opposed? All right. The motion carries. Thank you very much. We appreciate that greatly. Um, with that, um, can I ask a question? Absolutely. That patch cable was $350? That's four patch cords. Four dots. Two, two transmits, two receives, um, 
and the cans to the HELAC. So it's, I'm sorry, it's six patch cables. They're list priced at $70 a piece. And that's RF, double shielded, high isolation patch cords. Okay. So I apologize I if that was wasn't. One, yeah. <laughs> very, very good question. <laughs> very, very good question. Any other questions? Concerns? Yes, sir, with their hand. All right. With that, um, are there any additional board members or training reports or any other announcements before we move into our programs? <coughs>